what Caleb did was he uh, took all of our uh, rib pieces and laid them out so we could uh, know exactly how many pieces we could get on a 4x8 sheet and now he's about to make our first uh, our first tracing of our uh, nose rib onto sheet metal. Yep. So, so these are the these are the forms that we're going to use to router the final shape. So that's what we're going to use to trace and then when we rough cut we'll tr you know cut around that and then use these to do the final cut. Go for it. Hopefully they all fit in. We uh, we made it a very tight fit so we won't have to buy extra aluminum. So we also didn't leave room in case we screwed one up. <laughs> so we have to be perfect. Which we will be. Wow, you're marking on the metal. Actually, actually we're not marking on the metal. On we, the plastic? We left the plastic on. We're going to give that a try. Which, it seems to be marking okay. The only thing I'm worried about is then if it acts like a dry erase board and just smudges. So we'll test it out and see. All right. Go for it. Woo! Nice. Nose rib. No smudge. All right, so then... So now we take that and we duplicate it many, many, many more times. And we kind of alternate it. Um, rather than doing them all side by side in the same direction so that we can use as much of the metal as possible. We thought we'd be crafty and uh, do it on the computer first. Uh, unfortunately, we thought we'd be super precise. We didn't leave ourselves enough margin. Actually, you didn't leave me enough margin. Well, Brady did the tracing, but you know I can't expect him to be accurate to a thousandth of an inch. I, so. I made it to the hundredth, but not <laughs> not to Caleb's thousandth. So we ran out of space here before we got quite all of them traced out. We were we, we were too short on these guys. We needed fourteen, and we got twelve to fit. So I guess the the moral of the story there is. Uh, you know, don't be proud. Leave yourself some margin. You're going to screw something up. Or Brady's going to screw something up. Uh, plus, we'll probably screw something up making these somewhere down the road. So we'll probably need a couple extra anyway. But we did get start working with the metal. So once we get those all traced out, then we're going to grab our pneumatic shears and rough cut them out. So Nice.